It's happening, it's happening. Good morning, we stayed in Cova Reed last night. It's a pretty restful night. We both needed it, we were pretty tired. And I, we had mentioned that this was a bit of a loop drive that we were doing, and we have not completed our loop. We're not back to the bled area. And as we've hinted at, we're sort of saving the best for last. So stay tuned for what we have coming up in just a little bit. This town's very Italian in its feel. A lot of people here look very Italian. Uh, the food is a little bit more Italian style than Austrian style uh, compared to where we're staying in Bled. Wiener schnitzel. And the buildings also look a little bit Italian. It's probably because we're only about five miles from the Italian border. Some of the fiercest fighting in World War I and deadliest fighting in World War I occurred in this river valley right here. And this is a monument to the Italian soldiers who were killed. leg of our adventure and as you can see we are moving but I actually am having nothing to do with this my hands are not on the steering wheel the engine is not running at least not our engine and I'm not doing anything with the pedals how could this be well whose engine is running then if it's not ours it could be that giant locomotive that's about three cars ahead of us we are on a car train if you are lucky enough to come across one it is a really funky way to move. It is so much fun. You are like a foot or two from the car ahead of you and you're both jostling. It looks like you're gonna hit each other, but you're just stationary, not moving, on a train platform. It's incredible. This particular one saves us about an hour and a half of driving and we get to enjoy the countryside without any stress. It's not very expensive. And this is the final leg of our loop drive from Bled. We're about to go into a tunnel. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my eyes. This is a really long tunnel. Roll up your window before you go in it. Stinky diesel exhaust. Well, that 
that pretty much ends our circular tour from Bled. We were let off in the area of Bohin and the cost for this, so it was $16.60 for the two of us and it was absolutely worth it. You know, things in Europe can be pretty expensive and we're surprised by how reasonably priced this was. It was an adventure. And speaking of adventures, we'll join you on our next one. We're pretty wet. I think it goes without saying. Not the smartest thing that we've done. <laughs>